folks, and welcome to Clyde FC Up the Bully We, the final episode. At the time of recording, I've yet to decide if this may be split into two. It will all depend on the total length. Let's get into it. Before, so the news items here for the overall uh, best 11 is uh, our left back Gallagher has been, uh, Tony Gallagher has been inducted into the overall best 11. And if you can have a look here, we can see here. So Geller has made 67 appearances for Clyde, average rating 6.96. So we've got Truman in goal. We've got Robinson on the left. We've got Gallagher now, newly inducted on the left side. Gallagher, Robinson on the right. Our defence is Finlayson and Kogel. With Boyle and Jackie Boyle. Oh, and Campbell in the defense, midfield there. We have Hunter on the left, displacing Albazuti. Tiffany on the right, McKay and Hardy. So that is the final, well, it's the current best 11 overall. Where are they now? Well, it will tell you here that the overall four members have retired, but Truman, Finlayson, Seddon, Tiffany, Hunter, Nathan, Sharon, Ferguson and Campbell are still with the club. McKay is currently playing for Kilmarnock. Kilmarnock. We're going to have a look at the end of season awards now, and the players play, fans play of the season is Connor Smith, 40%. Really good, deserved uh, award. Missed a fair bit as well with injury. Uh, Houston second, good uh, effort for the kid, and Tiffany third. Uh, yeah, to me, Tiffany didn't have a good season this year. I've always said that. But a goal of the season, Greg Kilty against Dundee United in October. Let's have a quick nosy rosy at this goal and see he was playing on the left. See how this goal was and if as that loads up. So here we go. Kilty's on the ball here. Kilty just looks and curls a nice shot in. It was a good shot. A nice little ball there. Goal of the season. I don't know. Uh, signing of the season, Billy McFarlane, free from Fulham. Yeah, I believe, and then and a good future player and young player of the season, Craig Hunter. Did come into it towards the end of the season, which changed up some of the tactics a little bit. Had a bit of a game, a bit of a go in the games. Bell there, highest average rating we know. Assists, Connor Smith, nine assists. Billy McFarlane, ninety percent pass completion. Um, yeah, and no no red cards, which is quite good. So the review is through, so the, you know, done by, uh, I think it's Sky Sports. We were expected to make uh, the top half, and we just, you know, we, we, we got lucky. We kind of, un well, we were unlucky to miss out by one point, but uh, we did struggle early on to the season because of the European hangover, uh, you know, which is not surprising. Match of the season has been rated a 4-0 win over Dundee uh, early in October, and the moment forget was a 2-0 loss. Uh, to Kilmarnock early on in the season as well. Our average attendance was 6,200 for 76% capacity attendance, which is good. 30, yeah, 32 players used, highest in the Ladbrokes Premiership. But we did again have uh, League, Europe, and comp comp competitions as well. And you'll see here, Champions League, we made you know lost in the best place qualifying, which dropped us into the Europa. We were then managed to get into the group stage and knocked out. Didn't make it anywhere after that, but still to get there was pretty much a massive accomplishment for us. Eighth and disappointing eighth in the Premiership. Winners of the Scottish Cup, which really made our season, to be honest. And probably, um, you know, if I hadn't done that, we may have been under pressure here and lost in the final to Celtic in the Bedford Cup. So two final appearances in the Cups, one win. I was pretty happy with that. Uh, the 2018 side, where are they now? Well, we've kind of already done that, because um, if we do have a look at the 2018 side, to be honest, let's have a look if we can click on this. Uh, we will see, because this is the original team. We'll look at that in the history. Oh, here we go, class of 2018. So this is the first team that we ever inherited here. This is basically the team we kicked off with back there, so Curry, Miller, Kogel, Rumsby, Stewart, Rankin, McStay, Cuddles, Albazudi, Albazudi, still with the club today, Jackie Boyle, uh, Belmokta, oh, good Willie, yeah, Nicole, Duffy, Campbell, Palmer, uh, Vitanen, and Ali Love, and that is the formation we generally played, we used Boyle as the shadow striker, uh, with Belmokta, um, uh, a lot of the times, um, and it worked. It, 
It was amazing, really. Um, and where are they now? Let's have a look because we do have that in the news item. Obviously, we know Zach Albazuti is the only one still at the club. We know Kogel is at Swindon. Carlton Palmer is at a lower and Rankin is now managing at Anne. So, pleased with management. Team of winning the Scottish Cup is the highlight. Obviously, still disappointed not giving younger players the opportunities. That's the major criticism throughout the season and the, all the updates. Um, end of season report. Oh, yeah, three months, two injuries for Lewis Ferguson out. Um, you know, injuries, six injuries for Ralston, missing a total of three months there. The, the main ones, uh, you know, Gallagher's three injuries over, over six weeks. Uh, pre-season start date. I'm just going to go default, confirm that, and also, who cares about the analyst there? So, um, in terms of rewards, I'm going to just flick a bit forward and see if there's any Premiership awards come through for us. I don't think there has been, um, I, but um, actually, I, it should be completed. So I'll just do that an extra couple of days, and then we'll see how we go there. So Clyde FC now, we're you know currently a two a three star national reputation team, two and a half star training average training facilities, good youth facilities and secure finances, estimated value thirty nine, just shy of forty million um, pounds. So you know a good good club uh, honors. Well, these aren't all the honors obviously that I've had, uh, but we can have a look at here the league histories. we look at the history here we can see since we you know all that i took over uh, way back here in 2017 or 18 19 i should say yeah we finished third in our first season then the champions strated champions spent four seasons in the championship uh good solid ones two good years in the drop down and then the fourth which got us promoted through the playoffs two seasons so we've just finished our third season in the premiership We've finished 8th and then 2nd, and obviously we've just finished 8th again in the uh, Premiership. So not too bad at all, I mean, when you really think about it. If we go to the information there, as we can see, our, good, our reputation has definitely gone up. We are now a professional team, gaining it in uh, League 1, and then, of course, losing it into Championship after a bad year financially, almost on the brink there. And it's good, I've mentioned this in a previous video, I am now a icon for the club, so I'm pretty happy, chappy with that as well. If we look at the finances, we can see in the budget, in the bank, there's £10.7 million in the bank. Transfer budget of 7 point, just sly, sly, shy of £8 million, with a wage budget of 75. So the new manager, whoever they are, is going to really benefit from these. Uh, it's absolutely amazing to be frank with you and if we look at the competition history i think we can let's just i'm trying to find here if we look at the yeah let's have a look at the competitions here we've looked at the league let's have a look at the honors here i wish i could look at the honors with me but uh there we go so obviously uh we led brooks league two 2020 Winners and champions, obviously 2019, third place. Iron Brew Cup, we were runners-up in 2007, but that wasn't with me. Uh, Ladbrokes League won, winning it in 2021. Ladbrokes Championship, 2023, we played third. 2022 was second and winners uh, which we didn't go into because obviously runners up in 2023, finishing third, getting promoted by the playoffs. Bedford Cup runner runners up 2027 Scottish Cup. So here we go. 2025 is when we uh, were in the final, losing it to Kilmarnock. But again, now we're added to last, just gone, able to add 2028 a fourth Scottish Cup to our um, honours list as well. And 2027 a league. Premier League runners up can't get much better than that really I don't think uh, any landmarks you can just have a look at the, here the competitions that will give us I should have just stuck in this shouldn't I yeah so champions promoted 
champions promoted, runners up promoted, Bedford Cup runners up, Scotch Cup winners as well. So that's pretty good. Uh, financials, no deals there. Facilities, so upgraded the youth facilities. Any what's under other? Nothing really major. Okay, and the landmarks, managers. Well, it's been me. It's all about me. And any notes, but I'm, I think we'll leave it here. You can see our history there. Really proud history when we took over here and probably there to there, poof, straight up. Little dip, but then down and up, making progress as well. I'm kind of running out of things to do and say, so I'm not going to jibber and jabber too much. What we will do is we'll have a look at my profile here and we will see that, um, well, we are a continental reputation uh, manager got the Continental A license. I know we're contracted 2030, and I did think about just seeing out another, you know, basically another couple of seasons, but this series is coming to an end. Um, I'm just kind of falling out of love with it, and with FM20 on the horizon, I kind of want to take a little mini break from regular FM, and so this is why the series is ending. We can have a look here at uh, my history, though, so we can look at the milestones. If we look at the landmarks, we'll see here winners, winners promoted by playoffs and Scottish Cup winners as well. If we look at the awards, there's been a few awards, Manager of the Month awards, but yeah, 2027, uh, Manager of the Year, Players Manager of the Year, Writers Manager of the Year, Runner Up, and 2028, the Players Manager of the Year as well. New, entered the New Zealand Hall of Fame 2020. So it's pretty cool. We've already had a look at our competitions and other. It just shows the appointment biography. Yeah, isn't it interesting? And landmarks we have already looked at and is with everything else. Um... So, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'm not retiring. I am resigning from Clyde immediately. It's done. Pakira quits Boardwood Stadium. Yep. Many years in the jobs. Quick to pay tribute, long serving manager. Icon, born in Auckland. During his time, lifted the Ladbrokes League 2, Ladbrokes League 1, runners-up in the Championship, Scottish Cup in 2028, winners as well, and finished runners-up in the Premiership in 2027, and runners-up in the Bedford Cup the same year. I am still the manager of New Zealand, and I will be until the end of the Oceania competition, Oceania Nations Cup, well, then I will be retiring this profile so i will give you an update though because what i will do is even though i will retire the profile i um well not fully i will um give you an update uh next season at the end of next season see on clyde and if you're interested let me know down below if you would like me to do a 10 year and five maybe a five year 10 year update on clyde to see how they have gone so that's it folks the media, who's going to take over? Well, they reckon Darren Ferguson or Jim Goodwill or some other fella. Jimmy, I'd like you to take over, son. But that, ladies and gentlemen, is that the so Yep. And there's an exodus. So who's left? Aaron Parker's departure. Oh. Mass exodus. No fewer than eight staff members. Oh, freak, sorry, lads. Oh, look at those coaches. Oh, no. Well... It is what it is, folks. All right, I am Parkera, guys. That is that. Again, let me know if you want me to do a look around the leagues. I can still do that. But I've enjoyed my time in Scotland. This is a one-club challenge, and it was a challenge. I wanted to conquer the premiership and break the domination of Celtic and Rangers. Didn't quite succeed that. Got close with a second place. But it has come to an end and I'm glad that we were able to end it with the Champions, uh, the Scottish Cup. 
I want to thank each and every one of you for your views, your comments, your likes, and all the subscriptions. And I hope you'll stick with me as we go forward. And I will be announcing plans as soon as I know what I'm looking at doing for FM. Uh, probably closer to when the announcements come for the actual game. Anyway, yeah, we'll let you know. As in terms of getting the better, I probably will get the better again. And um, just play around for that. But I'm having a look at a few things, so I will update accordingly. Please make sure you do check out my other series that I do have it on going on to the channel and will be continuing, which is Trucking Tuesdays and Thursdays with European Truck Simulator and American Truck Simulator. And like I said, I will produce uh, a video at my time ending with the Oceania Cups when it was profile will come to a, a complete end and then I will do an update video for the next season and if you request it I may even do it anyway but let me know down below I will have a look at Clyde going forward in five years time right folks it is done we have retired resigned from Clyde we are now just the sole manager of New Zealand Thank you all so much, and I look forward to seeing you for Football Manager 2020. But like I said, don't go anywhere. There is still little bits and pieces coming through. Thanks, folks. Kia kaha.